You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Cambodian Red Cross President Bun Rani Hun Sen has celebrated her 67th birthday on Wednesday. The royal family, as well as the royal government, have sent birthday wishes, praising her good efforts and merits. Queen Mother Norodom Moniniet Shianuk has gifted Bun Rani Hun Sen $20,000. Cambodian Red Cross president has expressed her gratitude and has said that she will use it to benefit people in rural areas of the kingdom. EAC news reporter Yuri Matosko has the story. A day ahead of her birthday, the Prime Minister's wife, Bun Rani Hun Sen, has received an overflowing birthday wishes. On Tuesday, King Norodong Sihamoni has sent an early birthday message for her. He has congratulated the wife of the Prime Minister for her years of noble mission serving the people of Cambodia. King Sihamoni has delivered a message wishing her happiness, congratulations, the best wishes and the warmest regards for Bun Radin Hun Sen, who is a great guide and outstanding person leading the activities of the Cambodian Red Cross with great success. The King has also stressed Bun Radin Hun Sen has performed her humanitarian work with a high sense of responsibility and has worked hard to fulfill her duties for the nation and the people of Cambodia, who have suffered from various disasters throughout the Kingdom of Cambodia. The Queen Mother Norodong Moninyet Sihanouk has greeted her, expressing the warmest congratulations to Bun Rani Hun Sen for giving her physical and mental strength and resources to participate in humanitarian activities to build the nation, the motherland and the people of Cambodia, making Samdae Kitty Prit Brandit famous of her words. The Queen hopes she receives praises and joy both on the national and international stage. Apart from the heartfelt message, the Queen Mother has gifted Bun Rani Hun Sen a $20,000 and a bouquet of flowers. As a response, the wife of the Prime Minister has expressed her deepest gratitude to the Queen Mother, while adding that she will use the noble gift to dig wells for the people in the rural areas of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Besides the royal family, top leaders in different eras of the government have also wished Bun Rani Hun Sen a happy birthday, such as Cambodian Senate President Tsai Chun. The Senate President has given a message saying her leadership in doing humanitarian work in Cambodia with all her strength and spirit has helped in playing an important role in the royal government of Cambodia. The President of the National Assembly, Han Sambram, has also delivered his birthday wishes, along with his wife, commanding Bun Rani Hun Sen's active and wise efforts to fulfill her noble missions for the cause of humanitarian work as one of the most outstanding and virtuous women's leaders in the region and on the international stage. Minister of Information Kyung Kainyeret has also sent an early birthday message to Prime Minister's wife. He says the faction of Bun Rani Hun Sen gives warmth to the Cambodian people. Secretary of State of the Ministry of Social Affairs, Veterans and Youth Rehabilitation and the Secretary of General of the Disability Action Council, M. Chan Makara, expressed his respect and gratitude for the patriotic heroism of Bun Rani Hun Sen. In his congratulatory message, M. Chan Makara said that Bun Rani Hun Sen has sacrificed a lot of humanitarian work to help the Cambodian people. Bun Rani is the wife of longtime Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen. First Lady of Cambodia. She has served as the Vice President of the National Association of the Cambodian Red Cross and since 1998 as the President. Bun Rani was born in Rokak Nal Kro Chema District, Kampong Chan Province, now a part of Tibon Kaman Province. Her parents, Lin Kri and Bung Sian Li, were a prosperous farmers. Rani has two brothers and three sisters. As children, before the Cambodian Civil War, they all walked half an hour to school, wading across the Rock Canal River in the dry season or hitching a ferry ride across in the wet season when the water was too deep to cross. In 1970, when Rani was 16 years old, she secretly joined the National United Front of Kampuchea. The local creditors gave her a choice of positions. She chose the medical field and the leadership arranged for her training by doctors who had come from Phnom Penh to lecture fresh recruits. After six months of training, she was sent back to Khrou Chumar with the title of public health officer. In March 1974, Rani met Hun Sen, who having joined the Khmer Rouge in 1970, 
commanded most of the soldiers that were treated at her hospital. As the Khmer Rouge leadership forbade fraternization among the people and strictly controlled every facet of life, including courtship and marriage, they carried on a romance through intermediaries and occasionally on the pretense of official party business. Hun Sen officially requested an Ankar to allow a marriage in late 1974, but despite his reputation as a good leader, was told to wait until Phnom Penh was captured and the whole country was under Khmer Rouge rule. Bung Rani and Hun Sen finally got married on 5 January 1976 during the democratic Kampuchea regime. Since then, Bung Rani has received national and international recognition and numerous awards for her work with Cambodians orphans and poor, HIV, AIDS awareness and prevention, and her emphasis on women's issues with efforts to improve domestic safety and empowerment through education and vocational training. Yuri Matosko, EAC News.